government of West Bengal for providing us this opportunity to start the professional development with the educators. I thanking uh, thanking to the Microsoft Education whose software is you are using it and we are using it in order to completely uh, use this complete platforms and try to use the professional development programs. I am very thankful to the Tech Avant Guard who is organizing this entire training program for the educators who are going to conduct the supports, who are sending the messages, who are sending the mails and login creations, all the activities. I'm very thankful to them. And last but not least, I wanted to thank all the head of institution who are spending time in this training program of professional development. I'm sure this is going to bring a lot of changes and to all the participants who are joining today. Almost I know all of you today because after seeing your post, I have, after seeing your connects, even on the LinkedIn, there are many educators who are connected today. And uh, I really, I, I actually I know, I know with the faces also people who have joined from the West Bengal. Now, today uh, we are in the journey and I'm Prashant uh, who is going to conduct this training program for the day five. All the five day sessions are getting recorded. The mobile versions of the videos are getting ready. And uh, like post puja, you will have everything in your place for the futures of future of learning. So today I have got in my panel uh, a very great, exciting team. And today uh, the team is also going to talk to you and uh, they will be part of multiple angle. So we are forming a pedagogy today. I have got a team members like we have got Ms. Sharoni, who is uh, you must be aware right now if you are getting a call or calling them for any kind of support. Ms. Sharoni is there. Manish is there today. He is technically helped a lot of educators today in order to uh, for their login ID, passwords, query. And uh, Arshana is there who is also involved completely in the back end team technical side. She is helping the people. Shivangani is there. She is completely uh, the, the main. Uh, she is going to conduct the, all the test papers which you are seeing it. It's coming from the Shivangani side. And uh, when on 25th, you are going to have the session that the Shivangani also going to or, like uh, initiate this entire sessions and conduct the final assessment for all of you. We have got Ranjiri, uh, she is an engagement specialist. So today I have invited her also to speak today. So uh, like uh, at end of my session, she is going to talk to you about the further engagement and further support. So uh, that's what from my side, my team side today. And uh, today's agenda, we are going to explore more and more application today. What are the things we are going to explore? Let us see. So our main focus today is uh, to use the lighter application. That means we are going to use what is Microsoft Learn. That is the one thing we are going to learn about. And uh, it's a big ocean. OK, I don't want you to take you to the complete big ocean. I just wanted you to just see the small options of Microsoft Learn today that how it is helpful. We should sign in. We should do a small activity on Learn because why Learn we are learning today? Because after the training gets completed, after things are getting completed, Learn is a platform where you will get, you will receive your you certificates and badges. Class. So it is important for all of you to activate Microsoft Learn profile today. So how to do it and all those things I'm going to explain in the activity today and we'll have enough time to activate our Learn profile. We'll talk about Microsoft Stream today. Now you all must be aware about YouTube, right? YouTube is the place where we all every day we go and watch some videos on YouTube. But one thing we also know about the YouTube, it's a public platforms, right? Public platforms which may not we can use for our actual school environment scenario. But Microsoft Streams create a environment. Example, you are a teacher and you have created some videos. There are in a school, there are different different teachers of different different subjects and different different classes. Everybody creates their videos, right? Let's say a content, the students is on leave. There is a due to some kind of reason. There is a lockdown is there in the city and the teacher wanted to share them the video. This kind of video like a YouTube, you can create a proper playlist on a stream and this playlist can be shared with students. And there is no feature of Microsoft Stream to share the video outside the school network. That means outside the school environment, nobody can access the video link. Only the people who has got the ID and password, they can only access it. There is no option of sending it also. So this feature makes Microsoft Stream more secure to be used inside the organization. So the important videos or content of the school will always remain in the school. So that is the plus point of Microsoft Stream. OK, used for the school purpose. We'll learn about the Microsoft Flip application. 
Okay, Flip application today is one of the best application of Microsoft. And uh, 2014, the Microsoft acquired Microsoft Flip. Earlier, the name was Flipgrid. Now it is called as a Flip. In this Flip application, it can be used for the multiple regions, multiple scenarios. I'm going to show you some of the scenarios today. And very easy. Today onwards, you wanted to start with your students. You can use the platform. I can assure you. Twenty first century learning design. What are the twenty first century skills which our students require to do it and practice? Teachers need to make them practice uh, this twenty first century skills in with the students. So I'll not go more deeper into it because this syllabus is almost like of ten to twelve days twenty first century learning design. So I'm going to just give you the overall from thirty thousand feet a overall idea about twenty first century learning design, right? So uh, teachers today, let us go ahead and uh, quickly do the revision so that you know that what exactly has happened in last four days. As the screen is coming up, you are getting familiar about Outlook. Everybody can raise their hands. They know that okay, Outlook is used. We know that Outlook. OneDrive, very simple to use tool and you can store up to 1000 GB of storage. That is the power of OneDrive and you, you must be started uploading it. Microsoft Word document, Many projects I have seen of yours where you have used Microsoft Word for the translator feature or oh, it is dictator feature. Microsoft Forms, like you don't have to check every student's notebook or copy or a small test after the classrooms. You can become smarter by using the forms by conducting the quick quiz. PowerPoint applications definitely some wonderful tools where you don't have to think about where to place the object to make our PowerPoint presentation more animated or more professional. All those things are done by AI tool. This if you practice, you definitely going to work a lot and lot. Try to create, try to plan something for your own development that every day I can work on PowerPoint presentation to create a presentation for my students. OK, because visual learning is amazing learning for the students. Sway, wonderful tool, easy to share and easy to create. That's what we have seen it for mobile users. Little difficult because they have to go into desktop mode to watch it or to create it. Microsoft Teams, amazing platforms for the teaching with technology process. There are things which we have gone for gone for right now. And yesterday, yes, we have discussed about little bit about the Padlet and an eye opening session for why hybrid is required. That was the main objective of our yesterday's topic. So these are these are things which is our report card which we have done till yesterday and uh, everything is getting recorded also. So you'll not have much worry. Now we are mainly going to switch on today's topic where we can learn about Microsoft Learn. We are going to learn about uh, Microsoft Flip, Microsoft Stream. And these all applications are going to be a very, very helpful application for all of you. So let's get started with your uh, signal of getting ready. So I wanted to post, I wanted my engagement team to post a message that um, every, whether everybody is ready. So this motivates me. That's really great. I will also request my engagement team to share with you all the day one to day four quiz link and all the important links which is required for your uh, requirement that should be available on your messages. So I can see Nimal, uh, Nimal Sahana. Good evening. They have joined Suhas Haidalder. They have joined. And uh, Stipta Adhikari, amazing, amazing to see you. And your whatever you are sending a message, our engagement team is replying to all your message. I will request also my engagement team to respond to all your message, which is possible to please translate this lecture in Bengali also. Definitely, I'll uh, 
uh, I know few words or few sentences of Bengali, but the entire things will be really difficult. But I will use a tool to translate my communication in um, the Bengali language and try to give you the video. So maybe uh, 70 to 80 percent, it should be correct. That's what we can do it. Yeah, I think everybody is ready. Please exactly. add me in the group. Okay. okay, I can share you the link of. I can ask my engagement team to share all the possible information right now, of um, uh, like how they can join the teams groups and all those things. Okay, so teachers, I can see your you all are ready. I can see your messages. Everything, everybody is there. It's the counter is increased. Keep on increasing, and I'm just going into the topic. This is Microsoft Stream. application um, by using Microsoft Stream. Why the reason I'll just tell you. If you see, just analyze or imagine this image, which is uh, coming from Microsoft Stream side of it. That if any team is there or any group is created, imagine your own classroom, which you have created during the practice time. In that classrooms, if it is a eight standard A, under that, you have got different different subjects, English, math, science, Bengali, Hindi, other things. You have got the channels and every channel has got the tabs. Tabs means post files and other things which is coming up. What Microsoft Teams supports, it supports you can actually add a tab called videos tab. OK, or the recording tab. What happens? Whatever video you are going to upload into the stream every day, after the session, automatically that is getting inserted inside your Microsoft Teams because the linking is done. So what will happen? The advantage of that is today, I'm just giving example. Today, the academic year started for you in the month of April. The academic year started. The first lecture I'm conducting maybe on the chemistry subject, maybe any other subjects. The lecture is recorded. End of the day, the, definitely the faculty has to upload the, the lecture on the stream. If the faculty is recording every day's lectures and they are going to upload the, the lectures and the streams every day, what happens? It goes and sits inside the classroom, the digital classroom. What is the advantage with the students now? Think about. So when students log into the Microsoft Teams and go to the channel, the channel called Chemistry, they will find it right from the day one to day 365. Um, definitely the 365 days you are not getting for teaching, maybe 200 days. All the 200 videos are available to you. It is not consuming the teacher mobile phone. It is not consuming the laptops, but a kind of best learning, which is important learnings is provided to your students. The best things you are trying to teach to the students. And everything is most important. The video you can record from anywhere. But the important factor here is the accessibility. So you are making the things accessible to your students. And also it is inclusive inside the platform. So idea is this is one of the things which is the small efforts with streams can help you out in doing a lot and lot of things. OK, I also did the same things in our classroom. I'll show you how it is done. Then I'll show you the work process of creating it. OK. So teachers, I am just going to share my screen. So this is my team, correct? This is my team, general team. And I can see about the educators are getting communicated here. West Bengal educator group. Under that, we have got an option of post files and video. So example, example, I saw one comment right now from Peming. I can't see anything. So uh, please, uh, you can actually just leave the meeting and join again. Maybe that solved the problem because sometimes with the Internet, it can create a problem. So you can see the post files. Very good afternoon, Animeshwar. Very good afternoon, Goparani Das. We can click on video. So what happens when you click on video? You have day one video available here. 
इनसाइड स्ट्रीम सो स्टार्टिंग म्यूजिक दिस इज द ट्रेनिंग विच वी आर प्रोवाइड on the very right hand side uh, icon the circle so you can see the video is available beginning into office.com is well. the best part of this video when you are watching this tutorial video there's certain things which i can show you here is called something called playback speed you can if you are you wanted to just go through the 1 hour video in very 1 1 and a half hour video in very fast speed maybe important area you wanted to revise it you can increase the speed was a little little fast so you can also go with the making the speed as a slower little slower and you can go through the speed as per your adjustment the recording okay that is all available plus we are there to support you also here and this is day 1 this is day 2 if i click here in the day 2 Going to click on Add Channels. We can also configure, and I'll just go back to one of your team and see it also. Uh, I'll click on English. Special recording can be also attached. So this is becoming ultra slow. Anyways, the speed is become you. So you can actually adjust the way you want it. uh so idea was like uh, by default it's a 1x and you can actually increase or decrease the speed of the audio so see the teachers if i upload the day 3 video the video will be uploaded in the stream but it is displaying inside the teams so that's, that's the, best the best part, part. of this entire video right so uh, so uh how to go and do this entire thing on the stream where is the stream how to do this entire things how to link inside the teams that process let us go and see it you have understood the process what is the thing i require maybe one feedback here i may go and conduct a quick poll right here something called poll and uh, i'm connecting a quick poll so i just you have to participate you don't don't have to type anything just have to participate do you think stream app is helpful for my class and my subject so yes no maybe okay and i can just go and so considering about the fact that uh, how helpful from that point of view if you can think about and just review send so one poll will come on your channel and just you have to go and um, Say whether it is yes, no, or maybe that should be come into the general tab. You have got a poll option. Definitely, I am really happy to see that people are understanding. The participants are understanding about the concept of streams, and this is definitely going to help for every subject. Imagine students don't have to struggle. That's what we wanted. I totally agree with the maybe option also because when until we try from our side, we don't know, right? so thank you for participation as uh, you can actually just i wanted to get a uh, brief idea about how it is going to happen how whether you have understood or not i'll go back teachers to the next option right now going back to my in the, that complete uh, presentation let me just go back to the browser and just do it so here is my browser and uh, this is my office.com
so this is my office.com which is opened already uh as i told you the application name is stream so it is come up here and teachers this is not only the application which you can see it today you can see outlook one drive you are familiar now all with all the applications but if you explore there are more and more application but in fact this time we don't want to put more and more application for a professional development but yes in future we we, we have a continuous improvement planning in the, that complete uh, presentation let me just go back to which is opened already uh as i told you the application name is stream so oh, it has come, come up, up here. here and teachers this is not only the application which you can see it today you can see outlook one drive you are familiar now all with all the applications but if you explore there are more and more application but in fact this time we don't want to put more and more application for a professional development but yes in future we we have a continuous improvement planning that way we can actually help you out so this is my stream when i click on a stream this is how the stream pages look like earlier the stream was looking like this there is something called classic view so this is the old version or old look of microsoft stream okay so i don't want to go to the old one right now let us focus on the new one which has got three option upload recording and playlist so uh, like youtube you have to first create a playlist maybe the playlist for my science for my grade 8 playlist for my grade 9 playlist for my school video playlist for my, my own content, content. then if we can decide we can create a content upload a content then we can decide whether we have to share or not okay so by default let us go to the playlist this is where i have gone and this will by default ask you to create a playlist if you require to do it so playlist name is required description is required and then you have to just click on create once you create example i created already a playlist called professional development this is my playlist name i just open this playlist inside the playlist you have a option to adding more and more videos here okay that can be added here in the play playlist option so you can actually create a video you can upload a video all those things can be attached here so example the two videos which you can see it add items and you can just go ahead and add the more and more videos here okay i don't have much video right now for i'm just showing you the example the once the video is attached we just have to click on share button on the top of video which is coming to you just give me a minute i'm just going to correct this give me a minute share it in my screen once again what video was i'll try to see it okay <laughs> so if you notice this particular uh, web page that's a stream page we have the option of uploading the video so we can actually create a playlist and then we can go and upload or we can record also so example when we wish to go and upload the video if we got any kind of short videos i don't think so i've got any short video was i'll try to see it if i got some video in my system Okay. Unfortunately, I have not got a video right now in my computer. 
so maybe i will record a new video which i can upload it for a demo purpose so there is option of recording so this option i can also try it to create a new video so this is the allowing the camera or uh, the video accessible camera which is required here i'll just do the settings for the camera so at this point example if i have to record okay because my teams camera is already on that's the reason it is not allowing me to on the camera but anyways i'm just going to record with audio so this is the option of adding the recording hello everyone this is prashant and uh, i am going to record a very important video and this video has got a small annotation something like this okay so that's audio is done the video is done and uh, let's stop it i'll click on review prashant and uh, i am going to record a very important video and this video has got a small annotation something like this okay so once my video is up, done that's the upload portion of the video is completely done what is the next step is the video is going to be uploaded on the stream site either i upload any video or upload a stream video so once the video is done we can add this video into a playlist okay so uh, which playlist i have already created a playlist which is uh, i'll go to my playlist so that can be found this is my professional development playlist and i can click on done so this video will be moved into my playlist if that is done then if i open the teams application i can share you the teams application screen after it is done so this is my teams application screen if i just go back to my video you will see that in the classroom a video is added here which can be played in the classroom directly okay and uh, i am going to record so this is the idea is this is the third video which i have uploaded like this teachers one time playlist has to be created that playlist can be linked here by clicking on plus icon and clicking on the website and the link from my web link from my uh, uh, the video playlist the playlist has got a url you can click on share view access and copy the link and paste the link here which will look like this for you example this where i already kept see this is the url this is a url i'm just going to tell you that how i can configure it here once again i removed the video link okay now only the post and file is there i want to do it i can click on plus and click on the option called website and i put the tab name something let's say it is called as a pd session recordings url i can paste it which i copied from there and i click on save so with this i have got three videos available right here that's the place that's how we can actually link it and every day you go and upload the every day's recording it 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 start appearing on your subject area so a class teacher don't have to do for every subject what subject they are taking they just take their responsibility in every day doing activity and students will be happy or maybe once in a week you are going to upload recording based on your help needful activity you can do it today you have got a microsoft teams application with you you can go to any of the classroom today and just join the meeting by clicking on meet now and start the recording of the classroom maybe you have kept the mobile phone somewhere just and giving you example if you don't have that much of devices right now just with the mobile phone you have recorded your lecture important lecture when you are conducting and that is uploaded here 
so uh, this is the overall process of using the stream i'll repeat once again step number 1 go to stream create a playlist step number 2 upload a video and add into the playlist step number 3 copy the link of the playlist and paste it inside a teams as a channel if that is done your video is available now teacher teachers i am going to go back to my presentation for the next activity so what is my next activity next activity which i can see it and for stream i think it is clear okay next activity is my flip which is formally known as flipgrid is a free web and mobile app from microsoft where educators create safe online groups for students to express their ideas all synchronously in short video or in text or in audio message right so it is basically to make the students come out from the signage i can say they are not able to express themselves but with the help of a short video they can actually do a lot of expression okay because uh, i'm just giving example to some of the situations now in this sessions we have got lot of pre school teachers we have got lot of co scholastic teachers we have got lot of subject teachers example if is a if it's i am a dance teacher of a school or i am music teacher of a school i am not getting a lot of time in a schools to go and uh, make sure that every students can perform the dance movement and every activity in the in the, in my in my 40 minutes of duration definitely not so what is the alternative for me i cannot if i go and see every student dance move and see how it has been done the time by making them sit in the stand in the right position the time is going out so what is the solution the solution is if we use a flip app application and give a link url to my students to complete a dance activity let's say i'm teaching today uh, like a dance move from the zaz style and i given the students okay take this link and you can go and do the proper dance move and final version you can record and send it maybe it's dance or it's a music or it's a song or it's any activity what happens the students record it the dance activities in their best style and they submit it what happens a teacher who is the main person who has actually created this link for students in their mobile phone or in their laptop they can see all the 30 students videos has come in and teacher on their own time can go and review it example when they coming from traveling from one place to another place they are in the bus or they are in the train all this time they can just sit and they can review their the students performance even on the high schools when they have to do the personality development for the students every students are not able to speak more but if you given them some task and they are recording in their flip that is going to make a big difference preschool the small kid they are not able to do a lot of activity in the school but if a teacher has guided the parents community and told them that if they jump or if they do a fine motor skills or gross motor skills or they jump or they they uh, they able to catch the ball or all those activity or they start uh, reciting a poem everything a parents can record it and submit it what happen a, a different asynchronous way, way a learning is happening now the trend is there of the instagrams and all the places but for learning the flip is the solution for you and students are definitely excited to do it i have seen the schools are who are making professional development practice lot of debate competition practice they use this flip application even teachers the principals when before hiring the teachers or the lot of things which is happening for that also the teachers wanted their uh, now the days are gone when uh, the teachers giving them the resume or the resume documents what they do they create a video let's say in the flip and they convert the video into qr code and qr code is attached in the resume now what happens a principal just have to scan the qr code on the top of resume and the teacher is coming live on their mobile phone and the teacher is teaching yeah. teacher is coming and expressing their their uh, talent a lot of ideas are there today where we can use make use of flip application today is in today's world so we need to start this flip how the flip how to start with flip all those things let us go and see it
So uh, teachers, now I am going to I'm going to my browser and I am going to try to go to the let's say Google and try to type flip or flip Microsoft. I can say Microsoft flip. So flip is completely free to use application. Owned by Microsoft and used in classroom environment. And one more thing teachers that whatever the students are going to record the video. One student video, other student cannot see it. OK, so example, I am a teacher. I have asked all of you to create a video and your video cannot be seen by the other teacher. If I do a setting something like enable the video moderation, that means I should moderate the video. If I do the settings only as a teacher, I can see everybody's videos. So flip is that kind of platforms. That is now app is also available of flip. And uh, initial release was in 2014 and amazingly it has been used. So we are going to use the first important link of flip. Just one second, we are going to use that. Um, okay, I um, just got pressure? it. I understand. Yes. I think my audio is something which was not coming earlier. Is that right, Ranjri? Your Yes, Prashant. I just wanted to inform you about the meeting. Okay, okay. Thank you. So uh, teach us now what is the next step which I'm going to do? We have logged into the sign in option and we have got an option of continue with Microsoft. So we will go and click on continue with Microsoft option. At this place, we will enter our Microsoft account. So example, you have got account which is like ending with 11a.cc. You have logged in with the account and I think all this. I also want to tell everybody who has got a, a problem with the IDs and password. That has been sorted out. That means uh, we, our team has contacted all of you and they have provided everybody's IDs passwords. Okay, now date of birth, we can just go, like this is the first screen and it's optional to have this all the date of birth. So you can, I'm just going to put a random right now the date of births and this is the India and click on done. So I am educator. So when you're signing in first time, it will ask you all such questions. So just give all these answers. Uh, for which age group I am teaching, maybe for all the ages, I can click on next. This is how my flip home screen will come. Okay. Home screen is coming. Just skip this option. And there are three steps which we have to do in the flip. First step is we should go ahead and create a group. Step number two, inside a group, let's say we have created a group called grade eight. Or you can think about that you have created a group for your school, the school name. Under the group, you can create a unlimited topics for your students or for the participants. Example, the first topic today, I wanted to ask them about what is the like um, anything about, let's say, what is your uh, like uh, family about the family uh, culture and uh, what tradition or what kind of how you born and brought up their own story we wanted to listen it or um, 
we have asked them to do some activity maybe some kind of uh, english teachers can use it example they wanted the students to read a poem or read a kind of uh, any kind of language teachers can use it read a bangla poem also so when they use this kind of tools uh, and every day you are giving them different different topics and teacher will have always a record of what the students are doing it and it is very easy to do it so example the group what is the group name example the group name is uh something i'm just giving a group name as a grade 8 okay just for the time being grade 8 any of the theme i can choose it i can remove this uh, cute dogs i can remove it i can just try to use some theme which i wanted okay of my class which attracts my students so go, grade 8 and uh, maybe i can just wanted to type government high school west bengal right create group is created and um, i'll just click on close because this give you the message that group is created you can share this group link to the people you can copy this link and share it right now this is the group edit option so we don't have to share the group link to anybody right now so this just gives you the information that okay group is created and you can click on close button remember this step once the group is created you can click on close once the group is created there are some topics are created here share anything introduction these are some kind of sample topics are created how the topics are looking like and you can also click on plus icon to create more and more topics okay this is the plus icon to create more and more topics so a teacher is what is going to happen the two topics which is created let us click and see that how automatic topics are created we'll get some idea and based on that we can go ahead and create our own topics so everybody whoever is going to create a group they will get by default one or two topics as a free so these topics you can keep it or you can go and delete it also there's option of deleting this topic i understand delete so now only one topic is there let us go and see what exactly the core topic means so this topic something is the, in the heading called introduction then below it is called introduce yourself to your group mates record a video of yourself sharing your name and how to pronounce it a fun fact about you why you are participating in this group and what you hope to get out of it after recording review recording from your group mates and keep the conversation going in the comments so it is optional to have comments enable comments or disabled all these things but the idea is if i am a student i get this kind of information that i have to record a video i get this kind of prompts what i will do i'll start recording i'll say okay my name is prashant jha i am my name is pronounced as a prashant jha and uh, the fun fact about myself i can say something on that fun fact side and then yes i can also tell that what is my intention of joining this group for the better professional development and i wanted to connect with the educators if that is done i have my recording i can stop it i can review it whether it is done proper or not if it is not done proper i will try to re-record it my best version and i will try to change my background and everything i'll try to change it and once it is done i definitely going to submit the video the video will reach to my teacher and teacher is going to review my video and give me the comments feedback of the video so learning become with fun right so edu trainment is one of the things which can be done with the help of flip uh, teachers now let us go and um, this is how it's been created next topic if i want to create click on new to new topic and that's it the topic of my classroom of grade 8 is right i'm just giving example something called tell us okay about i'm just going to put as a navratri okay navratri is special and i can just give ask the students about in your description is in your own word describe the significance of navratri 
okay and uh, i can say some kind of prompt that uh, please record in good background and whatever we the way we wanted to see the video it should be clear it should not be disturbing it should be very beautifully done the video with the presentation so with this kind of activity the students impact is the students is going to learn a lot of skills they will learn about one is communication skills one is the confidence and one is the, basically they are definitely going to be matured for facing camera right so this is one thing and recording time a teacher can set that within this time only they should record so that they will be become a critical thinker they will be try to create a content only for 2 minutes they will be very smart in doing all those things so the recording time i can say about it's uh, only for 30 second so in 30 second student don't want to miss it so that computational thinking is also going on these are the skills which is important once i create a topic name i provide them the description i set a time i wanted to add some sample video or image i can attach using this buttons some samples can be attached for the student reference if required then this is a detail part if i click on post topic the topic will be created but when student will start responding what happens if i share this link to 10 people all 10 people can see each other's responses also so to avoid that what i can do before create in this topic click on create button i should go to the settings and enable that topic moderate students activity i'll make it on by default it is off i make it on so moderation is on response and comments will be stay hidden until a teacher approve it so it is moderation is off comments can be off all such settings are there in the video response attachment link cameras we don't want certain things sticky notes all those things can be done the configuration by when this video should be the last state of starting ending right so once it is done click on post topic so what are the things i did in flip once i logged it i created one group called class 8 under the group i had two different topics i deleted one of the topic and i created one new topic called navratri special and i created this topic and go to the settings i made it settings is disabled now once topic is created again this pop up message will come and it will ask me to share this link to the people i can copy this link okay or i can copy this qr and i can share to my students they click on this link and they will be able to get a they get a screen which will look like this this is the student screen they will get a screen look like this they will get a, immediately they will get okay navratri special teacher wanted to do it and i need to record certain things i click on record and immediately the camera of flip will open i can change my background i can change the my my photo if i want to hide i can put a smiley in front of me and i can start recording with my voice over the way i want it with some presentation i can record anything i can record it and submit it within 13 second so this is one of the idea and there is a lot and lot of research which is going on example if i go to the google and try to search for um use cases of microsoft flip if i just go to some images if i get something here Okay, maybe I'm not able to write properly, or I should go back to. I will share it to you because I had a very beautiful uh, a kind of tables was created where it is showing me that how a teacher can use it for K twelve, for university, for professional development, for higher education. Okay, so there was a. আমি 
সেটাই তো বললাম তলা ঢাকনাটা কত থেকে পাবো ঢাকনা পাবো না ওটা রেখে না এলে ঢাকনা হবে না ফ্লিপ uh especially for kg kg 12 the ice breaker sessions the state of uh, the classrooms and then aha moments there's so many ideas are there high schools how you can use it court analysis then uh, prove the formulas virtual art shows there's so many things which they are doing the projects they can do it for family conference school open house and then the staff and plc that is staff celebration you can use it for the parents feedbacks and there are so many so many use cases that are there okay this is just take giving you some kind of predefined use cases so just ignore it okay so let us go back to my flip i'm just going to share my screen once again allow me a minute Okay. Which is now I am going to share my screen. This is my flip and I can click on login. And I'm just giving you one topic. You can also create a topic by yourself with your own ideas and share in the in the teams where we have got a innovation uh, posting place. You can always share it. So I've got a lot of groups and um, there are a lot of people who are responding to a lot of messages, a lot of communities. So I'm just going to share that. Okay, okay. So teachers, now the flip uh, page is open. You can see that uh, there are a lot of uh, con- like uh, contents and videos which we have created. It is all available from around the world. The teachers are, the videos are available here, right? So all the trainings which we conduct, their videos, everybody's uh, things are available here. And I just wanted to show you a few things. This is from the around the world. I'll let me go back to the groups which is recent created. So example, Microsoft Certified Educators. And uh, they're doing a lot of projects with the CBSEs also. And you can see along like this, like educators like you, there are many educators who has recorded their videos and all the video as a teacher, I am getting it. right because i know the teachers very well now and i can see their uh, videos okay so i wanted to create a group right now uh, one more group in live and this group i wanted to create for uh, all the ages and group name i'm just putting it as a professional development West Bengal, right? And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to change this theme as a background, created a group. This is a new group I created just now. Under that, I have got some topics. I just wanted to delete such topics. And uh, maybe after this session gets over, you may try to record a video. 
and you will experience that i will also record a video right now so we can click on topic the topic new topic i am going to add here is like um, something like um, do you think professional development is important for educators for education or again short it professional development program education and uh, for educator i can say description i can just mention you that uh, dear educators kindly share your experience in recording by recording by recording your audio either audio or by video right so um make sure you have adjusted nice background before recording and record in your comfortable language so language is not a barrier here you can record record in hindi bengali anything so you can actually feel free to record in any language thanks shant job and recording time i just wanted to give a default time which you wanted to express yourself maybe between 2 minutes to 2 minutes 30 second and uh, i'll just put how was your experience in current professional development session okay then so when you're recording you can al al also mention this all things i can click on settings to moderate it settings moderation is on that's it topic is ready this is a topic and this topic i can also click as a qr code and this topic i can also share in the announcement right now record using flip so those who are mobile users they definitely require to have uh, the mobile no, app of flip, flip. but if they are you are a laptop user you can record in the browser also okay so uh, how i can go and record it so this is how the you all can see this now this is how you will get the screen how do you think the professional development program is important for educators now i can go ahead and record it by clicking on this record button you will see that what is going to what are things going to happen the moment i click on record option there may be chances that it will ask you to enable the camera so camera is enable so before going to the record using flip so those who are mobile users they definitely require to have uh, the mobile app of flip but if they are you are a laptop user you can record in the browser also okay so uh, how i can go and record it so this is how the you all can see this now this is how you will get the screen how do you think the professional development program is important for educators you can record in the browser also okay so uh, how i can go and record it so this is how the you all can see this now this is how you will get the screen how do you think the professional development program is important for educators now i can go ahead and record it by clicking on this record button you will see that what is going thing what are things going to happen the moment i click on record option there may be chances that it will ask you to enable the camera so camera is enable so before going to the selection of camera 
we can change the backdrop. There is option you can see it for backdrop. So we can choose a very uh, nice sophisticated background for our uh, entire thing. Right? I'll just see the Teams window, the camera is working or not. This camera, I'll off it. I'll go to that camera. This camera is off right now. And this camera, before we start recording, we have, all of you can see, there is an option here called backdrop. We can choose a very good background. Even I can add the logo from my computer. Example, I have got my school logo. Let's say this is my school logo. I can just go and attach this logo. Right? So this video can be also attached as a backdrop or I can just record in front of this video. Okay. So what I can do, the video is attached. There is option of using the lens. Okay. There is a right side. You can see the option of text. I can choose everything which I wanted to do it. Example text. I am putting it here. Prashant Jha. And this text, I can move it somewhere in bottom of my video. Okay, this is video is done. Then we have got freeform draw option, sticker option, GIF option. A sticker also, I can use it, which I wanted to put in front of my face. I can use the sticker. I have the filters. I have got the board where I can draw anything. I have the option of adding the photo. So example, I wanted to add the logo of something. Let's say I wanted to add the logo of tag. So the logo is coming. The logo I can put in the right hand side. Now I'm ready. I put the background. I put the logo. I can click on record. So I will just change the camera. So example, my camera. Where is my camera? There's a there's a camera option. I can choose the right camera. And this is how my video is now coming up. Okay. Because I selected the option that video should come right there or wherever I want it, I can set it. Right? So whichever position I wanted my videos to be fit, the angle which I wanted. Let's say I wanted this place is good for the video. Just for the time being, I'm just putting myself right here in the corner. And the nameplate, I'm just going to put on the top of my shirt. And some correction, I can do it. So I'm ready. And uh, if I click on this center button, the recording will start. So example, I can click on. Okay, before that, I can just move this also somewhere right here or below here or here. Perfect. I'll click on. Record. There is option of like video where exactly you wanted to move it. Now I can record it. Three, two, one, it will start. So hello everyone. I am recording my first video and uh, I feel the professional development is the need of the hour because of the 21st century. The world is changing. Technology is changing and we are in the learning crisis. That's the reason the transformation is highly important. Thank you so much for providing this entire training professional development programs from the government of West Bengal, uh, from the Microsoft India team and from the Tech Avantgarde. Thank you so much. So you have seen the video is recorded. I can change the photo which I wanted to upload it here. Upload any photo which I required because it will display in my thumbnail. So example, I wanted to upload one of the photo. And I click on confirm. Confirm. So what happened? My photo is available here. I can just put a caption that my caption is Prashant Jha Bangalore or maybe the school name, whichever I'm from. And I can click on, click on post topic. 
so uploading your video you can see it the message is coming and the video is uploaded video is posted and uh, once the video is posted i can click on nothing i have to do it i can just go to the my topic so if i go to my topic i can see that there are lot of videos which is already posted and you can see it the how i did it is like i just take some time to upload or create this video by adding the photo at last and then video is available and along with me i can see that 10 people have also uploaded their videos the way they want it i will definitely uh, after the today's session we'll have a time i wanted to see each and every video of educator because in this kind of training programs you you can see me i cannot see you but with the help of video i can actually know you much better way so try to record a video because tomorrow if you are doing today tomorrow your students are going to do it so you have to explain them also what is the best way to do it right so this is all is about the flip application how it has been done and flip is not only for just recording video it has got lot of feature sets lot of options which we can do it in the future training sessions it has got the capability of virtual field trip option also there are so many things are there which is part of the flip but right now let us start with the basics any help is required future we can keep sharing you the next level of flip explanation trainings a lot of things we can do it for you okay now at this point i will go back to my so i hope this is uh, clear to you the flip topic is clear to you how it has been done so teachers today itself you can go you are you are very much ready to start with A student don't require id passwords or anything to start using flip as a teacher you just have to create a topic give it to them and give them the instruction that they have to download the flip app the moment they download the flip app they just have to enter this code example for this topic the code is like this 352 7f60 so this is the code flip.com 35 this is the code i'll just zoom it so that you can see it properly so if this code is available to the student or with the students they will be able to join by entering the code they will get in topic and they can record and they can submit right out it's an amazing application okay so this is from the flip i want you to also think about this as a serious topic which i have given you record your video and we will also share this video whatever the best videos are coming out from your side we can also share to the department right okay i'll go back i'll close the flip right now the flip things is over i can click on close and then i can close this tab of flip so two application i told you the use cases one both are the video application today one was the stream one is the flip right we are moving up to the next important topic and uh, this is just for your knowledge purpose i'm just trying to explain you a little a uh, kind of higher end of advanced topic of microsoft tools which i can say but it is very important to understand okay i'll definitely if i get later in the chance of implementing 21st century training sessions will be inviting you for that uh so this topic is about today is in 21st century what are the important skills our students needs to acquire and for that skill what is the role of a teacher how a teacher can actually help the students in acquiring that skill and teacher can measure also that till what level i have implemented so there is a framework there is a framework which is done by itl that's a research forum and uh, international research forum and they have designed this framework for 21st century learning design which is very proven examples so it is 21 cld provides educator with clear and practical ways to develop 21st century skills using the digital technologies with their learners 
21st century learning design for educator builds on the research methodology providing a collaborative practice based process to help educator transform how they design enriching learning activities for their learners this is one of the very important thing and what are the six important skills teachers so if i zoom in okay there are six important skills which today's students needs to practice any subject for that matter you are teaching maths you are teaching science you are teaching english you are teaching language try to incorporate such activities it is very minimal in the classroom today collaboration collaboration maybe some teachers may be doing the collaboration in the schools but today it is very important because as i tell you when the when the students come out from the schools when they come out from the college when they have to actually come to the work that time the collaboration skills is highly in demand today because they have to connect with the people who may in the who may not be speaking in the same language who may not be part of the same country who may not be part of the same uh, regions okay who don't have the right understanding the negotiation standing so collaboration plays a very very crucial role and as a teacher if we start practicing the collaboration in the classroom that is one thing which can actually lead them to become a 21st century leaders okay now you have seen the covid vaccine which has come in it is between the collaboration of your pharmaceutical comp pharma, pharma company as well as the chemical industry right so how these people are collaborating how the people are collaborating because they have got right skills some people gets naturally some people the school has to make them practice so collaboration is something which is important we have to see that the student should shared a responsibility in the classroom instead of giving them more time in teaching we have to give them some activity to work on the groups how to do it how to do it everything is available in the framework so when the time will come we can actually guide you on implement real implementation of the first century skills with the students knowledge construction today is the knowledge construction is the second skills teachers today we are basically in our schools we are trying to reproduce the information not the knowledge construction nt is failing to conduct a knowledge construction activity in the schools today and this is proven because what we do is we because of our examination systems are like this we are believing in our examination system that okay this is you have this is the topic you have to learn and you have to give examination students are not constructing the new knowledge they are trying to today try to reproduce the information if something is a textbook they are reading it they are writing it so knowledge construction is very very important student required to construct the knowledge and apply in the multiple disciplines that is very important factor so knowledge construction is one of the important factor i will share you the link of this entire tutorial or guide go through it if you have time about this and there are microsoft tools which supports in doing this in construction activities likewise real world problem solving today the world is facing lot of challenges there is n number of challenges which is the world is facing whether it's a gender equality whether it is about the uh, the problems which is faced by the world and there are there are a lot of problems which is happening now also this is the month which is going out and um, the, they are facing the problems with the diseases there are there are a lot of things which is uh, which requires a people to solve it 21st century is actually about the challenges so if a teacher today connects the problem with a real world problem and try to connect some experienced people to solve and students can innovate their ideas in solving the problems or attending such problems their brains are going to be solved and they will be actually able to become a real world problem solver for the future there are a lot of companies today they are solving the problems of the people okay and we just have to just example if a teacher is teaching a problem or teaching a topic of traffic light in the classroom what is traffic signals what is traffic lights all such things that teacher is teaching in the classroom if they connect they, they give a activity in such a way that students should go around and find out where all the traffic problems are there in the city why the traffic jams are happening if students go and actually the same topic they are going to connect 
in the real world and they try to write a report using let's say the ms word applications and they submit this report to the local traffic police and um, they get some kind of solution to actually have that zebra crossing to be developed or something like that wherever the school passage things are there what happens they are with the learning just not learning the traffic lights they are also solving the real world problems which is connected to the topic so somewhere like that we have to make the students learn about such activity self regulation is important matrix now you have seen that in when the students or the teachers you have also gone through the same situation when we complete our education we have we, when we have go for the phd we have to go for the research activity there is actually nobody who can actually handhold you to complete the research projects you self have to go and create and publish your research activities and do the publish publishing and publications and so many things so that is the self regulation which has to like nobody is helping you so today also the students need not to be like a spin spoon fooding for everything but try to have some kind of activity in the classroom plan the activity by going through the research and try to make sure that they become as self regulated so that kind of responsibility should have come they should have get a success criteria for self regulation use of icit for learning today we are struggling that teachers to use the icit tools but there is a high requirement the students should use the icit tools whether it's a hardware or software this skills helps the students in reaching that without technology they cannot complete certain works that's the why we have to see that this skill also should be there because many schools are right now facing challenges that their teachers are equipped with technology their classroom has got devices the teacher is teaching with the technology but students are not have got a hand dirty with the technology that is the gap area between them and the 21st century so they require a device they require its software they require a process to research and do it like for the skilled communication where they have to produce a multimodal communication platforms they have to produce to the authentic audience they have to represent their schools in the cultural fest and so many things they have to create their own presentations and this communication is very very important so idea of this entire explanation is 21st century skills today in the today's lesson plans whichever subjects we are teaching we have to see that these all skills we are trying to incorporate in education that's what we are trying to talk about and i'll give you the helpful but only remember all the six time okay so teachers we are in the microsoft learn and let's say i am going to the oh, sorry in the google and we are going to the search bar called microsoft l e a r n learn so this is the place where the microsoft learn the url is coming like learn with microsoft and all those things you can go and click on it the first link that is learn.microsoft.com at the url also if you all want i can just share in the announcement it is shared okay so when the first time when you are coming and opening the learn you have to click on the option called sign in okay you have to sign in to the microsoft learn that's the first step so click on sign in without going to the other options and sign with your levere account it will give you the message like this you are signing as levere.cc just confirm yes i am going to sign in with this it ask you to create a profile that pins the display display name so example if you have got a name corrections or something like that the correct names will come from the software like this you can change the name the way you want it example 
example, the name should be instead of hybrid learning, name should be Prashant Kumar JHA. And click on next. Uh, it is important to select the country, proper country. Country is selected and click on next. Uh, it will ask you to select the role you are interested in. So maybe uh, as of now, you can mention that K-12 educator and click on next. Select your level. You can choose the beginner, intermediate, advanced level. So the courses will come as per that. So we can say as third level and click on next. And you can skip whatever I did. You can skip all those things quite. So you can just say I am not sure. I am not sure. Congratulations. You have successfully created your account profile on Microsoft Learn. Next time, these things will not come. So if it is created your profile, you can click on the option called view your profile. Or you can click on the right hand side and click on profile. So you can see now it is signed in. So this is your profile which shows you that you have got zero badge, zero trophies, zero everything. Everything is like this. And once the training gets completed, we are going to provide you. If you all clear the examination, we are going to provide you the badges, the certificates. So you have to come to that day to the option called achievements. And there is an option will be there for you called redeem your code. So you have to click on redeem your code and enter the six digit code, which is we will be supplying it to you. Once you enter and click on redeem, you will find your certificates and badges available here. You can download and proudly present on LinkedIn or proudly present on your social media platforms, WhatsApp groups everywhere. So that's how this uh, the Microsoft Learn works for you. So we'll not go much deeper today because uh, the Microsoft Learn, we just have to understand one thing, how to log in or how to register first time and how to access your profile. This is the profile page. OK. This is how the profile page look like. So if you uh, wanted to see one of the profile which I have also, I can share one of my other profile which I am using it. Maybe if the screen can be shared there. Yeah. So teachers now, if you get used to it, you will have this uh, profile option and you will see after a few days that you have got some badges and some trophies and you can click on the achievements and under achievements, you can click on redeem code and you can get your codes. Otherwise, you will get all the certificates which is you have earned. Example, the Microsoft Innovative Educator. You can click on print button. It will be showing as printed format to you. Okay, signed by the Microsoft CEO and all those things will be displaying to you. So these all things will come after 25th. So today, I just wanted to brief you that how you can use the Microsoft Learner. So please, uh, if you somebody has got doubt in again processing, you can watch this recording to understand this. Okay, but it's pretty simple. You just have to look, create an account and click on your profile, click on achievements and redeem codes. Okay, I'll just go ahead and uh, come back to my. Presentation screen. We come to the reflection area and uh, trainings to be trainings to be just go like training is over and we have to stop it. We have also shared you the Microsoft ID and password for you to practice. Because our organization believe in educators to have hands on experience. And uh, until you get a find yourself at time and you practice yourself, any problem you are getting it, we are going to have a mentor program also in this group where we will nominate almost there are right now in this batch almost close to 15,000 educators are there. So we'll find out 50 mentors from the different different districts and they will be if they are selected as a mentor program, they can they can actually mentor you also and we are also there always on the top of it. We all are a part of a Microsoft Teams group and we can actually help you out in any kind of queries which you have got. So soon we are going to share a mentor form and uh, those who wanted to really they have they're clear with everything. They can nominate themselves as a mentor and we can ask you to help more and more educators in this difficult time of transformation. 
So five days of trainings, the tools and topics which selected, I hope that is clear to you. Recordings will be shared both in the laptop version and mobile version. You will have time to watch it till the time we have to celebrate the Dasara week, the, the complete holiday period which is going on. And educators who are miss out this training programs, they can watch the recording. And those who are not registered so far, there is a good news going to come in and the government officials will going to communicate to you. Uh, there will be a different than the other batch of training which is going to start after the puja and that time the educators who missed out the id passwords and they have not registered uh, all those things they will be clear instruction will be given and you can actually join in during that period of time right so uh, we will be informing you our government will go officials will be informing you about the upcoming session and if the educators who are already joining the session, they wanted to rejoin the sessions. You are also welcome to join in for the revision of the things, right? So that time, definitely we are going to see that the things can be explained to you in much uh, simpler way with all the materials. Assessment, make sure that 25th, you can join at the same time, four o'clock for assessment. Uh, we will provide a link to you and uh, it will be like 10 to 15 minutes duration for the assessment not more than that so it's like a, like every day you are giving the quiz i will ask my de the departments to share you the quiz links and everything's right now for today's quiz and um, yeah, i'll just also share that quiz link to you one second so yeah I think the screen also will display right now. Very minute. 